Hello and welcome to the lecture series on economics of growth and development. In the previous class, we have analyzed the statement made by Ragnar Knox, which said that a country is poor because it is poor. We have seen this with the help of an example, which says that if at all an individual is underfed, he or she will be less on or lower on the energy segment. And as a result of that, the same energy cannot translate into higher productivity. And as a result of that, he or she remains poor and the spiral goes on. This states that or gives us an assumption or explanation of saying that poverty is self-perpetuating given the fact that if an individual is underfed and he operates in, in an economy wherein all the individuals at a macro level are underfed, then we can say that a country is poor because it is poor. In today's class, I'll be talking about vicious circles of poverty. So first, let us look at what was the definition given by Ragnar Nux about vicious circles of poverty and see from where the basic vicious circles of poverty are coming out or they are stemming out from where. So let's get started. First of all, according to Ragnar Nux, a vicious circle implies a circular constellation of forces which act and react upon each other in such a way or in such a manner that it leads to a country being in a state of poverty. So this is what Ragnar Nux explained when we, uh, we uh, when, when, when he analyzed the idea of vicious circles of poverty or any circles for that matter, they were operating or they were acting and counter reacting on each other in a fashion wherein that led to something called a state of poverty in an economy or country. So this is how Ragnar Nux looked at the vicious circles of poverty. Let us now understand from where the basic vicious circles of poverty are stemming or coming out from. So these are coming out from, these are coming out, obviously this is, I'm talking about uh, least developed countries or to be very precise, you can call them underdeveloped countries. So what happens is the vicious circle, the basic vicious circles stems from the fact that in low developed countries or underdeveloped countries, Total productivity is low and this can be due to various reasons. The first being due to capital deficiency being low, due to the productivity of the factors uh, that is both labor as well as capital I am talking about, they being low because of uh, market imperfections, because of economic backwardness, because of underdevelopment in that particular economy. So this is how you can see that the, 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 the various forces act and, and result into something called as lowering down the total productivity and this lowering down of total productivity culminates into basic vicious circles. Now these basic vicious circles are operating on both the levels that is it operates on the demand side as well as on the supply side. I will be talking about that in the next lecture but let us see how these basic forces or basic circles uh, come out or stem from. So vicious circles or basic vicious circles stems from something called as lower productivity and lower productivity is as a result of capital deficiency. Now this capital deficiency is on both the counts as I told you that is this is in terms of uh, the financial capital as well as this is in terms of the machinery. So this is how capital deficiency can be seen that is it is coming from both these ends that is capital is deficient or it is not used properly. Second of all it can be due to market imperfections for example say all your basic rules of markets are not being followed for example the entry principle the exit principles the number of imp uh, the number of buyers in that particular market the number of sellers meaning thereby mar market imperfections lead to something called as pseudo pricing and things like that so this is again an important thing we should be analyzing when 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 uh, we are looking at lowering of total productivity thereafter we have economic backwardness obviously in terms of infrastructure in terms of in terms of finance in terms of credit in terms of anything else that is economic backwardness and thereafter we have something called as underdevelopment as as a problem which leads to something called as lower productivity and this culminates into vicious circles of poverty so this is how you can look at vicious circles of poverty and how they stem up they stem up due to this particular reason and this particular reason stems out from various other reasons so this is how you can look at the basic way in which the vicious circles can come out in the next class i'll be talking about the vicious circles of pover poverty operating both on the demand side as well as the supply side. So in the next class, I'll meet you with respect to the same. Thank you so much.